Good morning. Good morning. You're Mike McGinn, aren't you? Yes, I am. And what is your position at I.O. and Iken? I'm an attorney here at I.O. and Iken. And what area of practice are you in? Uh, primarily family law, but I also handle uh, criminal cases as well. How long have you been practicing, Mike? I've been practicing since uh, September of 2000. Do you like practicing law? Yes, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy helping people. Um, I find it uh, very re rewarding. Okay, and specifically, do you enjoy family law? I do. I, I like helping people who are going through some of the worst times in their lives, uh, uh, help them through that and uh, get them to a better place. How about criminal law? Do you enjoy that? I do uh, enjoy that as well. Uh, I started out actually as a prosecutor in Polk County, so uh, I, I do uh, like doing the defense side now. All right, so as a prosecutor, you put bad people in jail, or at least you tried. Is that correct? Yes. Now you're on the exact opposite side of that? Yes, I am. How does that feel? Um, it, it's different, but uh, you have a uh, duty to your client, just as I did with the prosecutor. I was My client was the state, and now it's the defendant. And uh, again, uh, it, I enjoy helping people. Not, not everyone's a terrible person. Sometimes they just get themselves in bad situations or make bad decisions and, and need, a, need a second chance. When someone's looking around for an attorney, why do you think they should retain you? Um, again, my experience, I've been doing this uh, for over 20 years. Uh, I know most of the judges uh, throughout the Tampa Bay area, including Hillsborough, Polk, Pinellas, Pasco, Manatee. Um, I know a lot of the uh, attorneys in the uh, family law bar here. Uh, I understand and I keep up to date on the law. We've had a lot of current changes in Florida law, especially with alimony and, and time sharing and father's rights. So uh, I, I, I think I can put all those things to work for a client. There are people out there who when they think of attorneys, they think it's an easy job. All you do is speak now and then. The money rolls in in huge amounts and you go home relaxed and happy at the end of every day. Is that the truth? Uh, no, uh, there, there are days when you're happy and, and, and things go well, but you also uh, deal with a lot of stress. If clients are stressed, you're stressed because you wanna make sure you get a good outcome for them. You, uh, I take home, things home all the time, I take work home. I also am uh, maybe sitting there watching TV or just relaxing and I'm thinking about a client, what I need to do, what's the best course of action going forward. Uh, happens on the weekends as well. So we, we try to have relaxed time and enjoy ourselves, but there, there's always something in the back of my mind worrying about a client uh, and how I can help them. Sounds like it's almost a 24 hour a day job, at least mentally. Any truth to that? I believe it is, and uh, I, I try to get back to clients, even if they respond to me at night or on the weekends, if they're emailing me, I, I try to get them a response or at least acknowledge that they've emailed me and say, hey, I'll try to take care of that or I'll get, uh, get to that on Monday when I get back in the office, and I think clients appreciate that. What is the most difficult, uphill, complicated battle you've ever waged in a court or a case? Um, probably on a, uh, when I was a prosecutor, um, I had a case where there was a sexual battery uh, and involved a uh, young woman. She was, I believe, 21 years old. Um, and she went through a lot. Um, and preparing her to testify in court was a lot for her. And, uh, but but uh, we were able to do it and secure a conviction. Do you get along with your clients? I do. I generally do. I, 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 they're generally very good people. They're just going through a rough time in their lives, and, and that's what we're here for, to help them get through that. How about criminal defense clients? you ever represent anyone you know is guilty? Yeah, I, I have. And, and uh, even though they're, you may think they're guilty or you may know they're guilty, 
again, most of the people we represent aren't, aren't terrible people. You do have those incidents where you're going to have someone who's accused of a very violent crime that may not be a good person. But generally, the, the folks we represent or I represent are, are good people that just made a poor choice in life uh, and they need some help and uh, a second chance. And what geographic areas do you normally accept cases in? I accept cases in Hillsboro, uh, Pinellas County, Polk County, Pasco County, Manatee, and Sarasota County. Big variety of courts and judges, huh? Yes, it is. That makes it challenging, but it also makes it interesting. It's, it, I, I find it a challenge to work with different judges and, and different attorneys, and so it, it, it all helps you with the experience that you gain from doing that. You mentioned you know a lot of judges, you know a lot of attorneys in the region. Does it matter when you walk into a courtroom if the judge likes you or not? Oh, definitely. Uh, and that goes back to reputation. If a judge knows, knows you and knows uh, that you've been in front of them and they can take your word for it, they know how you present things, you present things in an organized and timely matter, manner, um, the, the judge is more likely going to, at, they may not rule for you, but they'll give you a, a fair shot and they'll, they'll uh, I think they take you more seriously, they take your arguments more seriously, so it, it helps.